My name is Michael Alleg, and I'm an artist and party promoter. Um, yeah, there, of course, there have been um, uh, overdoses in nightclubs. There have been overdoses in amusement parks and, um, you know, baseball stadiums and, uh, and uh, parking garages, you know. Um, uh, had there been more in nightclubs? Possibly. Um, but, you know, we, did, we actually did a, um, a, a study in, in the 1990s because when the, when the city was cracking down and, um, uh, and closing down the clubs, we did a study that showed that with uh, a nightclub that holds 5,000 people, and we own four of them, so that's 20,000 people a night times, you know, five nights a week times 52 weeks a year times seven years or 10 years that we were open. And the number is some astronomical figure of like, you know, 10 million or 20 million. And out of all of those, out of all of those uh, nights, only one or two people have ever overdosed and nobody has actually died. So it's really like one out of 20 million that, um, that overdosed at our clubs. So the myth that people were overdosing left and right is kind of um, a myth. But, um, I mean, you know, nobody should overdose, but I mean, but that's the reality is that that things like that happen sometimes.